Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can add this particular search bar on a home page. And this particular search bar, like uh, whatever we have done in the last session, it is working as expected. So we are able to filter it out the products and we are able to get the uh, like we, we are able to search the products throughout the application and we are able to get the expected uh, result also. So this is working perfectly fine. The next thing that we have to do is we have to just apply um, the similar search bar on our show product details page as well. So on the show product uh, show product details page also we have the um, we have the list of all the products. So in this case also we just want to add this particular search bar and this particular page that is show product detail page or maybe the show all product page. This particular page is basically applicable only for the admin. So we just want to make the admin's job a bit easier and that is the reason we just want to add this search bar on top of this particular page as well. So again, uh, the whatever code that we have applied in the last session to add the search bar on this home page, that code, that exactly same code, we have to do it for the show product details page also. So if you are already aware about like how we can add it on a home page and if you have you have already done the code for the home page then you can just try by on your own like to add the uh, bar search bar on this show product details page also and you can just take it as an assignment and maybe you can just skip this particular session. Otherwise if you want to show me like how we can add it then I'm just going to show you in this particular session. So let me just do one thing. Let me just go back to the vs code and we can just try to add the search bar on top of this particular um, table first so again to add the search bar i'm just going to use angular material form fields also we have multiple references available in our code itself so we you can just refer it from uh, from our code or maybe you can just take a reference for a uh, reference from angular material official site as, as well so if i just go to the vs code and if I just show you like home component first, so in the home component HTML file as we have added this particular uh, input field. So exactly same input field we can just copy. So if you already added you can copy it or maybe you can just take a, you can just pause this session and you can just type this particular uh, code. So you can just copy it from here and you can just go to the show product detail component and inside the show product detail component on the inside the HTML file, you can just try to add that particular code. So let me just uh, do one thing. Let me just try to paste that code over here. Or maybe what I can just do is instead of this show table, maybe just outside of this ng if uh, like condition and this particular division i can just try to put this form field so again on line number seven it is giving us the error so why it is giving us the error so over here on line number seven we are receiving one key up event so if you don't know like what is the key up event so what why, what we are just trying to do is like on the home page if i just go so what we want is whatever inputs user will give inside this search box we just want to capture those events and that is the reason we are just using the key up event. So if I just show you like how the key up event works. So if I just go to the Angular's official document, then we have some documentation for key up event. And if you just see like this is how the key up event basically works. So whatever user will type in a search box that we will be able to capture it some variable or maybe in some like that we can just capture it in maybe variable or maybe some functions like in any way that you want but we will be able to capture it so we have the similar requirements and we just want to capture whatever user will type into a search box we just want to capture it that is the reason we can just use this key up event so this is this is the output of the key up, key up event so if i just go back to our application then if i just go back to the vs code so on line number seven, we have added that particular event. Now again, it is giving us the error to this function because obviously we don't have that function right now. 
so what we can just do is we can just copy this particular function name and we can just go to the ts file and then inside the ts file we can just try to add this particular function so we don't want this dot value so we can just remove it something like this and now the next thing that we have to do is we just uh, have to use uh, first of all we just have to make like console.log so we will first of all try to use uh, or maybe try to see whether our event is working as expected or not so whatever search keyword i will receive as an input i'm just using the console.log on this particular uh, like uh, on, on this particular search box so let's see what happens so if i just go back to the chrome if i just go back to the show product detail component then i'm just opening the console and over here what we can just do is we can just type it type some things over here something like this and yes on the console we are able to capture it so we are able to see the output on the console so whatever you are typing it is giving us the output at the console so now it is working as expected now the next thing that we can just do is we can just go back and if i just go inside the search by keyword function and we are just doing console.log over here after this console.log the very first thing that we can just do is we can just reinitialize our page number so we can just make it as a this.page number is equals to zero so if you are following my series then you must be knowing that we have implemented the pagination in our application and we are just using this page number variable to maintain that pagination so if in your application if you have the pagination then you can just write this logic otherwise you can skip it maybe what whichever logic is applicable to your uh, application you can just try to write that particular code only so we have to just use page number is equals to zero and then what we have to just do is we have to reinitialize the product details so product details is the array which actually holds the products that we are showing on the table so on this table we are sh just showing the products and those products actually comes from the product details array so we just want to reinitialize the product details so we just have to reinitialize with the empty array and then the next thing that we want is we just want to call this get all products function so again uh, we can't call it as a directly because we have few things to take care so inside this get all products function we are just calling this dot product service dot get all products so now if i just open this get all products in a service then in the last session itself we have added one more parameter that is search keyword into this get all products function and we are just passing the search uh, keyword as a query parameter to our api so now what we want is we want to uh, we want that particular parameter like similar parameter in our uh, component file also so how we can just do is we can just first of all add one parameter to this get all products function so let me maybe call it as a search search keyword something like this and it will be of type string and over here we just want to give some default value so reason why i'm just applying the default value is because this particular function is getting called from multiple places and i don't want to give any kind of error to that place so if you just observe like in ng on edit also we are just calling the get all products function and now it is giving us the error because now we don't we have one parameter that we are not passing over here so that is the reason it is giving us the error so to avoid these kind of errors i'm just going to apply some default value to my get all products uh, parameter which is which we which which is like empty string so i'm just going to apply the default value which is empty string something like this and now you will not see any error on the line number 30 now the next thing that we have to do is whatever search keyword we will receive maybe it is empty or maybe it is uh, it contains some value so whatever we will receive we just want to send it to the our um, get all product service function and then after this we will just send it to our backend itself so in the backend we have handled like all the conditions whether search key is empty or null so those kind of conditions we have already handled so we don't we don't have to worry on these 
now let me just come back to the ts file and the next thing that we can just do is we can just call this dot get all products function and this time whenever we are just trying to search by the keyword this time we can just pass the parameter so in my case the parameter will be the search keyword something like this so let me just pass it and now let me save these changes and let me just first of all open the terminal let's see whether it is compiling successfully or not so yes it is compiling the successfully if i just go back to the chrome and if i just try to refresh it so now we are able to get some results the next thing that we can just do is we can just try to search it with some keywords so i'm just trying to search it with a combo as a keyword so yes we are able to get this like painting combo one two three four five so we are able to get the expected results let me just try to remove this particular keyword let's see what happens so yes the default 12 products that we are able to get if i just click on the load more then yes uh, it is working as expected and we are able to get the next 12 products also because we are using the pagination and in each page we are just trying to fetch the 12 products and that is the reason we are able to like whenever i will click on the load more it will fetch next 12 products so now let me just try to find out the product 6 maybe let me just copy this keyword and let me just paste it over here and yes we are able to find out the product 6 let me just remove this particular uh, search key and yes whatever the products applicable we are able to get those products also and again let me just uh, quickly tell you like this particular whatever we are just searching this particular search will it, it will like try to our backend will try to search it against the product name and product description so whatever we are just trying to search it will just try to search it against the product name and product description whichever match will found it will just return that record and now let me just do one thing let me just type only p over here so so that we can get multiple results more than 12 so so that we can get this load more load more product button and let me click on it so yes the pagination for uh, pagination along with this search is working as expected and let me just remove this and yes it is working as expected so yes our uh, search functionality is working as expected on the show product details uh, page also so this is like whatever code we have applied it is exactly the same code that we have applied in the last session itself but again we just want to cover the functionality and that is the reason i just shown it like how we can add it uh, how we can add the search bar on this particular page also so if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section and maybe if you find any kind of defect in the functionalities that we are developing right now if you find any kind of defect let me know let me know into a comment sections because i try my best to test all the possible scenarios but it might happen that uh, i might miss some scenarios so if you find those scenarios so you can just let me know into a comment section and we can just try to resolve those defects in our application so i hope you you got an idea like how you can use the key up event and what is the use of key, key up event and how we can implement the search bar on the show product details page if you still have any questions let me know into a comment section we can try to resolve it and i hope you enjoyed this session and i'll see you in the next session